Video cameras are everywhere. We bring you the pictures they've captured. Sometimes it's serious. Sometimes it's funny. But it's always real TV. A dangerous escape act. Home video cameras record the terrible accident as this act backfires. <laughs> Literally. The horses are at the gate, ready to race. They're off. Not. A building collapses. Hundreds are trapped. For two agonizing weeks, rescuers search for survivors. Can anyone still be alive? This plane is coming in for a landing on a windy day. Something scary is about to happen, and we have the tape. And meet the real-life Dr. Doolittle. He talks to animals. Don't talk with your mouth full, mate. And lives with them, too. Get out of there! Whatever you do, don't blink. It's time for Real TV. Hi, I'm John Daly, back with another half hour of great tape from your home videos and from our bureaus around the world. And we begin with home video from two angles of an escape act filled with drama and danger. But this one went way beyond theatrics. Our Sabila Vargas shows us where this act turned into terror. 30 seconds left still to free him from that handcuff. Anybody who has ever thought that magic wasn't for real is about to become a true believer. You're watching a magic trick called Trial by Fire. If it works, it will look like this. See, 10 seconds. spectacular and as magician Frank Puff tells us all very real I've been told by other magicians even other people who do escapes that I should not use real fire I shouldn't use real gunpowder I shouldn't use real gasoline there's always a way to fool the audience the audience won't know if you're not using the real stuff but I will Night, Frank Puff and his assistants are going to learn a timeless and valuable lesson. If you play with fire, there's a great possibility you're going to get burned. Sheila and Mickey are Frank's assistants. The two women are chained and roped to a board which is soaked with gasoline. Prior to going up to the board, I said to Mickey that I didn't want to do this, that I did not have a good feeling about this. At their feet is about 12 ounces of gunpowder, ready to explode with a flicker of fire. Cameras capture the feet from two separate angles. Once the women are securely fastened, they are then handcuffed. Now it's Frank's turn. His male assistant, Kelly Roberts, handcuffs the magician, placing him in a bag and securing it tightly with a crowbar and a padlock. Kelly, the fuse. With Frank in the bag, Kelly runs to light a fuse, ready to explode in three minutes' time once it reaches the gunpowder beneath the women. Frank has to get out of the bag and help them unlock themselves before they go up in flames. I have to get those handcuffs off and get that bag open, minimum within a minute and 50 seconds. Firefighters are close by just in case things get out of hand. Seconds into the stunt, it appears something is wrong. 30 seconds. Frank is having a hard time getting out of the bag. 35 seconds. As the women frantically struggle to free themselves, Kelly continues to count down the precious seconds. Finally, Frank frees himself and rushes to uncuff the women. Now everything seems to be going according to schedule. When I first stepped out of the bag, my feelings were really good. The girls were really right where they were supposed to be. And uh, I knew we had plenty of time to still get done what we had to get done. But then Frank realizes something is wrong. He motions to Kelly to put out the fuse, but it's too late. Ah! Kelly Roberts tries to explain what went wrong. Frank looks down and, and turns to me and says the fuse is, is out of the trough. Another piece of the fuse had caught and was burning tried to pull that out, and as I did, it, it uh, pre-explosion. <laughs> there was panic in my mind. I was worried about how serious this thing was going to get. Oh my God. First split second, I saw fear in her eyes. I think she realized that there was a mistake. 
she got rocked back for a split second. Uh, by the time Frank and I had gotten to her and started working on her, she, you, you could see it in her face. She knew that she was going to be okay. Sheila was lucky enough to walk away with only a second degree burn on her left arm and minor burns on her left ankle. But both she and Mickey are bitter about the incident and say they will never do the stunt again. It may have been 16 seconds on uh, tape, but it, it felt like five minutes. It was pretty much a, a bizarre hoax, is, is what I feel it was, that, that really went awry. If you're involved in a showbiz routine and there is danger involved that you see, even if they assure you that this is not dangerous, um, don't place your trust in the wrong areas, because yeah. you may get burned. But Frank and Kelly say the danger comes with the territory. You still have to move on. And a lot of times you can prepare for a mistake, but you're not always going to be prepared for everything. Frank Puff says he plans to do the trial by fire stunt again, only this time, he says, he will be the only person chained to the board. Well, our next tape also shows an event that didn't go off...